we witnessed some special milestones as the cricketing action unfolded on day 2 of the Commonwealth Games 2022 and I am here to tell you about the same in our special segment, The Birmingham Ram, presented by Helios. Well, experience is a very precious thing and why do I say this? Well, the experience of Sophie Devine and Susie Bates helped New Zealand to win their opening game and get those two points to their account. Susie Bates and Sophie Devine laid a very strong foundation for New Zealand as they built up a partnership of 99 runs. Sophie Devine just fell two runs short of her half century and Susie Bates stayed unbeaten on 91. New Zealand scored 167 runs. Probably the way they started, it felt like they were 10-12 runs short, but they came up with a strong bowling performance. And once again, Sophie Devine was in the limelight. She picked up three wickets, and by doing so, she also completed 100 T20I wickets. She became the first cricketer to have 2,000 plus runs and 100 wickets in T20Is. South Africa's batting unit struggled there. Chloe Tryon tried to lead the charge, even there was a crucial contribution from Sunilis, but unfortunately, South Africa lost the game. In the second game, we saw England and Sri Lanka face each other. Sri Lanka opted to bat first, but England there came with a strong bowling performance. Sophie Eccleston picked up three wickets. Freya Kemp and Isi Wong also picked up two wickets each, and a dominating bowling performance from England helped them to restrict Sri Lanka to a total of just 106 runs. But Sri Lanka had nothing to lose. They made sure that it's not an absolute cakewalk for England either. At one point, England was 63 for 4. And again, we saw Inoka Ranavira and Ushadi Ranasinghe starring with the ball for Sri Lanka. Inoka Ranavira picked up 3 wickets, whereas Ushadi Ranasinghe picked up 2 wickets. But eventually, the target was not too daunting and England chased it down to win the game. Today, we're going to see India versus Pakistan. It's going to be an intriguing contest, followed by the match between Australia and Barbados. You stay tuned to Women's Clip Zone as we will give you all the updates about the same. Thanks for joining in. See you soon.